What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we got predictions for Team of the Week, week number four, which will be dropping in-game tomorrow afternoon. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. I want to start with predictions on the sets and what you can expect. Probably going to be the same exact thing from last week, but I bring this up every week because it is an opportunity to make coins. So from weeks one through three, we haven't seen any LTDs and packs, and we haven't seen any team of week team of the week packs at all. So it's provided an opportunity if you're smart about it to make some coin. Now people might start catching up, and the profit margin might shrink at this point. But if you've been paying attention to my videos, you've been able to make some coin off of this. So we are going to be jumping up to 89 OVR champions and 90 overall LTDs on Thursday when the Gridiron Guardians promo comes out. EA basically leaked that yesterday. We put it out in a video. If you missed it, go watch it. So team of the week, because that comes out on a Wednesday before the big promo of the week, uh, should remain at 88 OVR champions and, and we're not going to see any LTDs more than likely. So no 89 overall LTDs. With the champions last week, we know the set requirements here. You need 485 to 86 overall players and then 185 overall team of the week player the reason that that gets tricky is because there's no team of the week packs in the game so how do you get that 85 overall team of the week player well there is a set for that as well and if you scroll down a little bit here you're going to see for an 85 overall team of the week player you needed two 82 overall team of the week players and then three 82 to 83s from any promo so again because there's no team of the week packs in the store how do you get those 82 overall team of the week players well, there's another exchange set. If you go down a little bit further here, you're going to find that you can build those with any three 80 to 81 overall players. So basically 80s went way up in price last week. So if you invested in them, you made some profit by flipping the cards. If you happen to have a bunch in your binder, then you could just sell them and make some coin. Again, I don't know if it's going to happen that way because people are catching up to this but it is something to look forward to tomorrow when this content drops. And tomorrow morning on GMM, EA will give us the full reveals and all of the details if we can see or expect packs when the content drops in the afternoon that day. But let's go through our predictions for week number four, team of the week. It's not going to happen more than likely because EA just doesn't like giving players who had good Monday night football performances team of the week cards, even though they have an entire extra day to go out and make that player's card. But you got to throw Jared Goff on the list here. And low-key, I'm kind of hoping it happens. Because I rock an Eagles and a Lions team team, he'd be dirt slow. But the man went 18 for 18, 292 passing yards, and two passing touchdowns. He also caught a passing touchdown, which I wouldn't be surprised if we see down the road. Or maybe even for team of the week, they give him a wide receiver out of position item. It won't be very good, but they might do it because that's just something they do normally. So... Jared Goff deserves a Team of the Week card. Will he get one? I don't know because the performance was on Monday night. Baker Mayfield, I hate, and it happens every year way too frequently. I hate when the Eagles allow a player to be a Team of the Week candidate, but Dake Baker Mayfield absolutely deserves it. 347 passing yards, two passing touchdowns, and he had a rushing touchdown. It was only for one yard, but you know what? It counted. It put points on the board. Now, Baker obviously already has this 85 overall team builder champion card from early in the year. So if anything, he's not going to get a card, not based off of the performance, but because he's not really due for an upgrade compared to a Jared Goff. Or Sam Darnold, who, let's talk about it. Is he the MVP for the first half or the first month of the NFL season? He might be. He deserves an upgrade. Will it come from a promo? Will it be from Team of the Week? Who knows? But the Vikings 4-0. And in Week 4 against the Packers, Sam Darnold at 275 passing yards and three passing touchdowns. If we got this one at a champion level, he'd be a bit slow. If he was anything under the champion level, I don't think too many people would be looking to use him. But he's having a great season so far, so we got to give him props. A lot of really good running back performances. Another Monday night football performance, Kenneth Walker the third, and in a losing performance, he had three touchdowns. Only 80 rushing yards, but three touchdowns. The reason, the reasons I should say, I don't think that he's going to get a card again, 
because it was Monday Night Football and the game ended late, only 80 rushing yards. And we saw Elvin Kamara, even though he did have an upgrade like the prior week to it, we've seen Kamara have a four-touchdown game. Saquon have a three-touchdown game. They didn't get cards off of it. And, of course, again, there were reasons why that happened. But I just don't think Kenneth Walker is going to get one. But I did want to bring his name up. I feel like Jordan Mason should get a card, right? He's just filled in so nicely for CMC. And he had another really good week here in week number four, 123 rushing yards and one touchdown. Just feels like this dude, not only based off of week four, but just based off of what he's been doing so far in the NFL season, really, really tough shoes to fill. He's done a great job. So let's see if Jordan Mason gets a team of the week card for week four and then the final uh, candidate here is going to be Brian Robinson Jr. The commander is playing amazing right now. Jaden Daniels getting a lot of the credit for it but this guy has played fantastic and in week four 123 sorry no that was Jordan Mason in week four Brian Robinson Jr. had 101 rushing yards and one touchdown and he was really good last year a little bit inconsistent but still really good and he's have a having a great start to this season as well. Now at wide receiver, I feel like there were a handful of good performances, but I don't think we're going to see a wide receiver team of the week card at all this week. The first option is going to be Nico Collins, who I'm only talking this year and statistically this year is the best wide receiver in the game. Again, just this year, just from statistics, uh, 12 catches, 151 yards in one touchdown. He's just tearing it up each and every week so far in this season. The only reason I think he might potentially get a card, obviously, because he had a really good week, but also we're looking at an 86 overall card that was a gauntlet champion card, and there's such a very small percentage of players who play mutt that really had a chance to get this because you got to win 10 games before you lose two in the gauntlet, which is the toughest game mode in the entire game when you're playing online. So I feel like maybe they give him a card that's a little bit more achievable for the masses of the ultimate team player base out there. And at this point, you know, it would be a plus two and overall, which we've seen them do that do before. So potentially that could happen. Another guy who had a good week and a losing effort, but he got a card in a losing effort in week number one is Jaden Reed. He got that 84 overall team of the week card could they make the jump and give him an 88 overall champion uh Jaden Reed seven catches 139 yards and one touchdown funny that he had his best two games so far week one and week four when Jordan Love was the quarterback couldn't really do it in weeks two and three with Malik Willis out there so those are the best candidates on offense let's talk defense this one I'm looking forward to. This could be a budget beast. You play through your team of the week solos every week. You earn tokens. You trade those tokens in for a hero level card. If they were to give Troy Anderson a hero level card, which would be an 85 OVR, it would have the potential to be one of the best budget users in the game because take a look at his card right now. A green card, a common card, a gold card, six foot four with 84 speed at a 72 OVR. So this one, again, has some potential out there. Troy Anderson went crazy too. 17 tackles. That's just really impressive in itself. Not only did he have the 17 tackles, he had one interception and one touchdown. If he doesn't get a card, I'd be shocked. Here we go again. Another Eagles player or another Eagles opponent. Another Bucks player alongside Baker Mayfield that had a great week against the Eagles. Levante David, he's been doing it forever, man. I feel like Levante David was in Mutt when I first started playing Mutt around Mutt 13. I could be wrong there, but he's been around forever. Uh, Levante David, eight total tackles in week four, two sacks in one forced fumble. Speaking of sacks and forced fumbles, Kyle Van Noy, he had another great week. I was surprised. I shouldn't say surprised, but it was interesting to learn that he's now had two sacks in, I think they said, every single week this season. It was either that or now the last three weeks of the season, and maybe week number one, he didn't do it. Anyways, he had two sacks this week in week four, plus a forced fumble. Uh, if he doesn't get a team of the week upgrade, he should deserve one or get one just based off of how he's been playing so far in this season. Jaquan Brisker from the Chicago Bears filled up the stat sheet as well. 12 total tackles, one sack, and one interception. A 79 overall safety with 80 speed and six foot one height has the potential to be a pretty solid card if he were to get a legitimate upgrade. And based off of his week four performance, he should get one. He definitely deserves one. There were 17 players that had one interception in week four the biggest name is Xavier McKinney him and maybe Fred Warner of course but 
Fred Warner is not due for an upgrade. So I'm throwing McKinney on the list, and I know I had Jaden Reed out there already, and McKinney, who, you know, they both lost, right? The Vikings won, they beat them. But not only did McKinney have a big interception or a, an interception this week, he's had, I think, now four on the season, and he's been due for an upgrade. So I figure we throw his name out there. Plus, He's kind of a big name compared to the rest of the defensive options out there. So does this one happen? I'm going to guess probably not, but could it happen? You know, it has the potential to. And then the last one, player in that same exact game here, Byron Murphy, another uh, defensive back. He had in week four, seven total tackles against the Packers, one force fumble, and he also was one of those 17 players that got an interception in week four. So you guys let me know, do you like my team of the week predictions? Who got snubbed? Who should have been on this list that I left off? Leave it down below in the comment section, and we'll find out tomorrow who exactly will be getting team of the week. We four cards in what 25. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.